going on guys? It's your boy John Ross and my nom fam. Jin. Jin, where are we at in the Bay Area? We're in the town. That's right. The town aka Oakland, California and we're about to eat at Hopscotch. Let's go. Right, we're gonna get some behind the scenes shots before we even eat this food. So I'm gonna take you to the kitchen. Let's get into it. So we have none other than chef, owner, creator of Hopscotch, Mr. Kyle Tan. So we opened Hopscotch six years ago. It's uh, it's an American diner. Thinking, what's an American diner from like my perspective, which is Japanese American? So we have a Japanese American twist to all the food dishes. So your classic diner food, but with a little Japanese flair to it. The so Yonsei oysters. This is oysters from Massachusetts. Uni and ikra salmon roe with ponzu. Crowd favorite for sure. Fried chicken, buttermilk, shoyu, and karashi Japanese mustard is the marinade. And then we have fried green tomatoes, which is one of our seasonal dishes, with a soy pickled green garlic for beef. And then our first base burger, griddled beef tongue, chunk roll, we have house grind in uh, braised beef tongue as well. So it's a very meaty, beefy burger. It's happy hour somewhere, so we about to get down. You ready, Jen? Ready. Cheers. Ah, oh, I know this is gonna go well with this fried chicken, I already mm. know it. But this is the first time I actually have the beef tongue in my hand, I'm about to actually eat it. Kind of different, but it should be kind of cool. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh yeah, there's bacon in this. Mm. Juicy, super mm -hmm. juicy. So good. This is super soft and juicy. The beef flavor is a little different, but it's not like it stands out or anything. It's just like a normal burger. A little bit of red. If you're down with that, it's cool. I'm sure they can make it well done, but mine's medium rare and I love it. Mm. Want beef tongue right there though? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. B and B. Value and volume. And the value of this thick, juicy burger. Oh! I thought I would use the word funky to describe the burger with the beef tongue flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not really funky, it just tastes like a really good juicy burger. Like, why don't we eat more beef tongue in our burgers, you know? No, I love how it comes with like chips. Oh my god, I didn't even get to the oysters yet. <laughs> it's like the appetizer. I was ready to the entree, people. What the hell? There's no wrong way to do this. So I am a huge uni fan these days and Icarus, so this is like a plus on a plus. Jen, you ready for your fried green tomatoes? I'm ready. Massachusetts oysters with some uni and some Icra, aka salmon egg. You sure you don't want to get down on this? If you're not a Oyster fan, and I am, this is how you share plates, people. Mm. It's a seat in my mouth. It's a bait. Oh. What do you I'm, think? I like the fried fries. I think fries are good. Oh, man. It's good stuff. The batter. Nice crunch off. There is no wrong way to do this. So good, I can mm. The nice crunch is really light. And you bite in there. And the sauce doesn't like, take away from the tomato, either. I've been wanting to say this line for a long time. Keep it classy, Oakland. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. It's like perfectly seasoned. It's so good. Cheers to naming with the fam. Rose all day. All right, so we just had the chicken. We had the beef tongue burger with bacon. We had the fried green tomatoes, and I had my oysters with ooh. What was your favorite? I'm gonna say fried chicken, fried green tomatoes, and the burger. That's your stack all rank. Of it. That's your yeah. stack rank. Yeah. That's fine. That's your rank. <laughs> my stack rank is gonna be definitely the burger. The fried chicken, yeah, the fried green tomatoes, if I were stack with mine. Let us know what your favorite one is from what you've seen. What would you go with? What would you order? As always, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Thanks, Kyle and the Hopscotch crew for feeding us. Thanks for coming out. You can find us in Oakland. we got a special giveaway, brunch for two. Details in the description. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Love. And now. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> All right, do the calls and go for it. If McDonald's comes out with beef tongue burgers, I'll know where they got it from. Yeah, I kiss my food. <laughs> I love my food so much. I kiss it. I'm about that beef tongue life. Let's go. What All we right. got next? So we're gonna uh, slice some of the tongue. Okay. This has been cooked, and so we're just gonna slice some of it to make a topping for the burger. So here you can add um, some of our pistol meats bacon. You can add uh, cheese, beef tongue for sure. So. This is something I'm not sure if I've always wanted to do, but it's kind of a weird bucket list check now that I've just grabbed my first beef tongue. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this thing. 